okay working with uh, let's start working with sql server so we will have an example of our test information man management system we will design a basic simple database you can design database before going to create database in SQL Server on, on some papers or some Microsoft tools using Word, Excel, PowerPoint. For example, I have designed this in Excel sheet. So here I have master table. You can see here, this is the master table one. And the nine other tables are associated with this master table. You can have this table for students, employee, HR, whatever information you required. For example, in artist um, information system, we need basic these uh, fields or information. So you can have here the simple ID. <clears throat> so this table or all these information uh, of an artist or employee will um, be selected through this ID. So you can say that uh, all the record of an employee or student will be selected or updated or deleted against this particular ID. So here we will uh, show you in the later videos when we will create database in SQL Server how will assign primary key and these foreign keys to these fields simply you can see here the id application this is our the basic simple design then what would be the data types we will discuss into the sql server so i have planned that we should have these columns in my master table application days when the artist is going to apply uh, for particular finance or for particular drama so the name of that artist father name cnic dob and the gender id what is the gender the information is stored in the another table against the gender id i have some sheets here i have mentioned the columns in separate sheets i will tell you later so the cell number phone number of uh, and the major work what the work is currently that artist or that uh, man or woman is going to do so the status id is that artist is active or inactive or uh, um, expired or uh, employed unemployed etc similarly current status id so here we have stored the you can see here the current status id and inactive old age disability working or not working so back to this sheet the district id here the district of that uh, artist is stored and uh, uh, against that uh, district particular province id is saved it means that which province of uh, the district is here for example you can see here the this is the province table we have uh, some provinces against per province id that id is called in this district table so we we can see here that koita this is the district which is located in the province 2 so 2 is basically the blochista so this is very simple we have relation with these three tables so address of uh, artist again and the finance id is uh, you can see uh, related uh, linked with another table by using this id so we can we have another id different id and we can call this id to get the information from the dependent table so dependent uh, table mean dependent id is uh, going to store here the information of the dependents of this artist <clears throat> if some dependents he has or she has so you can store in this information in another table 
to avoid the redundancy so this is the field here and then uh, that an artist is working uh, on which category film from a state tv radio oh, an artist can work in multiple or single category we will show you how we will store this information using check boxes in the visual studio forms so this is the user id entry date uh, for example i'm the user and i'm going to enter this information so my id would be stored here and the particular date on that uh, on that date i'm going to enter or i'm entering the information so here is the, are the remarks so you can see here the district table is further linked with another table similarly dependent id is a link with the dependent table and that table is calling another table using this finance required id so this was the basic structure you can also draw here or uh, you can learn from here and uh, apply this information on your own database so here are the uh, tables which i have renamed uh, sheets particular sheets with these tables and tbl for the table and i will directly import these tables to the sql server um, using import data tab i'll tell you how to import the excel or the cvs sheets and data to directly to the sql server to avoid your or to save your time so you can see here the fields and the some information I have stored in these tables. Okay, so keep touch uh, to learn all this um, database uh, structuring or database designing into the.